Welcome to the Windows Computers and uh, Technology channel. And as everything with Microsoft can never be simple, uh, we talked about an important update today that is pushed to even Windows 7 users, just to give you an idea of how bad this is. And it shows up in update and security, of course. And if you look at your update history, if you already have it, if you don't, you'll see that it's going to push KB5004945, which mitigates apparently the uh, print nightmare problem. Well, guess what? That update does not. It seems that several security researchers after the update was pushed say, eh, in working, we can just like, you know, bypass that update and still exploit the print nightmare flaw. So I guess it's back to the drawing board for Microsoft to do an update that really will fix something. Now, if you are scared of what the consequences could be, you could turn off the print spooler. If you don't have a printer, it's not much of a problem. If you have a printer, well, it's just not going to print anymore. So it all depends on what you need to do. Um, Patch Tuesday is coming up next week. I would guess some newer or better fix will be in that Patch Tuesday update. So you can maybe wait. If not, for those that really want to do the, the uh, print spooler thing, just go into your search. Type services in the search box. Enter. And here you'll see all the services running in Windows. Go and find the one called Print. Here we go. We're going to find it here. Print Spooler right here. What you're going to do is you're going to stop the service. And once you stop the service, you can right click and go into Properties and Startup Type Disabled. Click Apply, and here it goes. Print Spooler is now disabled, and when you restart your PC, it's not going to work. This actually removes completely removes the myth, the uh, the danger of that uh, security flaw. So if you really need security, if you really want to do it, uh, just go there and do this. Remember that you won't be able to print, and that if you eventually get a printer, you will need to have this reactivated to print. Uh, you might want to reactivate it after the update is done. And of course, that means simply going back here to services, clicking on the print spooler. In the print spooler, you're going to click, right click, go to properties. You're going to say, okay, automatic, apply, okay. And then on the upper left, you can click start the service that will restart the print spooler. Your printers are going to work again. And if you want to do that after the, uh, the fix, you can do it. So this is what you can do to really make sure nothing bad can happen. Um, should you? Look, I print all the time, so if I'm not going to disable mine, um, I think you're going to be okay um, if they do have a Patch Tuesday fix for this. But keep in mind that it exists. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.